Hi, this is Brother Sean with eLearning Brothers. In this uh, video tutorial, I would like to show you how to edit and use our Adobe Captivate responsive templates. I have one of our templates opened up in Adobe Captivate 8, and I'm going to show you how to change the colors of some of the objects on the stage, as well as add an image, change the text, and also how to copy this into another project. So first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and just change the color of our tab buttons here. And the way that we're going to do that, if you have uh, certain branding requirements and you want to kind of match your company's look and feel, you're not really liking the blue ones here, all we need to do is just select one of them. And over in the properties panel, if it's not open, go ahead and just click this little icon right up here in the top right. And then you can just change the gradient right here. So you can just pick each one of these <clears throat> one of these thumbnails, click a new color, go ahead and pick a red color here so that we can make sure we see that it's changing. And you know, maybe you don't want to keep the same gradient effect, maybe you just want to kind of spread out over the top to the bottom. That looks pretty good. <clears throat> um, you'll notice that we're on the normal state here. You can just drop that down and do the same for the rollover state. You know, go ahead and just change that to whatever you like. Also, I'd probably recommend doing something a little bit different just so that there's a, a slight change. So you could do that. You could also uh, make sure you do it for the down state. But for each one of those states as well, you can actually change the font color and you can change like and modify the font size and things too right down here. Once you get it just right exactly how you would like it, you'll notice that the style name, which is called tabs, has been modified and it's indicated by that plus sign. Um, that means that this particular style has been modified and it's disconnected from the original kind of kind of like a CSS kind of thing if you're familiar with HTML. Um, but it's been modified and what we want to do is we have a couple options that we can, uh, let me just scoot this over so you can see in the recording. Um, we can either create a new style based off of that and then we can use that style for other objects or what I really want to do is I want to save these changes to all to the existing style. So anything else that's using that tab style, which I know all those blue buttons are, will be then be updated with a new look. So let's go ahead and do that. And you'll notice that all of the red all the buttons now are changed to red. So that same kind of principle applies for other objects like this white box here, the text uh, for all the text, all the content text. So everything will operate and behave off of these, these um, styles. So that's how you change the colors and objects of the stage. Um, next thing we're going to do is go ahead and insert an image. Um, what I'd like to do is show you how to insert an image right inside for the introduction. So what we can do is just go ahead and click the media and image. Go out and search for the image that you would like to insert. Select it and click open and it should bring the image right onto the stage and you'll see that it added it down to the timeline also. Go ahead and position that where I want. Keep in mind also um, if, you're, if you're new to the responsive design, um, you'll need to kind of know how to position and play with that image to scale the way that you want to scale to the different breakpoints. I will show you in a different tutorial on how to um, kind of play with those settings and those position settings. They're right over here. Um, I'll save that for another tutorial, but know that you'll want to make sure you modify that image and position it exactly how you'd want for each one of those breakpoints. Um, what we want to do is associate this image now with our introduction text um, here so that when you um, click on one of the tabs, it'll actually disappear or show depending on which content area you want to be associated with. Um, this particular one is the introduction, so it should go away once you click tab one, tab two, and so forth. Um, the way we want to do that is down on your timeline, we'll want to move our image down closer, like preferably right above the content that you want to put into, uh, kind of group it with. Um, the reason you want to do that is if, if you leave it up above, and then when you do the grouping that I'm about to show you, it'll actually bump the whole layer up to the top and it could potentially break your interaction. So I recommend always taking your image, put it right above the layer of the content that you would like to group it with. Then all you need to do is select both of the, you'll just need to select both of those content areas. You can either select them on the timeline or up here. Um, right click on it and you're going to go group. 
Now there's already an intro, a content intro group, and we're just adding the image into that grouping, and that's how you do it. Let Captivate do its thing, and now if I drop down my group on the, the timeline here, I'll notice that my, um, my map image is included now with my intro text and my content text. So when I preview this, it'll show with that content. And this would be the same way um, that you want to do it for each of the different tabs. If you want to add an image on each tab, you would do the exact same thing. You want to, I'll go ahead and just do it for tab one here just to show you really fast. Same thing, grab that, that same image, put it right in here. I want to just bring it right on down, right above content one. Select both of those, right click and group. And then if I drop down that content one, you'll notice that the image is right inside there. Um, next thing I want to show you is show you how to edit the text uh, for each one of the, um, the content areas. So I have content one open right now. Very simple. Just go ahead and double click on it and select it and type in your text or copy and paste it if you're going from a storyboard. Super easy to do that. Same thing with the tabs, just double click on them. And just type in your text or copy and paste it in. So super easy to uh, update the text and the content there. Um, last thing I'm gonna show you in this tutorial is to show you how to insert this into a working project. Um, once you've actually modified the template, um, added your own content in, um, you can actually put this into a new project. What I like to do is copy it from the film strip mode. So just select the uh, interaction here, hit right click on it and go copy. Go into your project file if this is your working project that you want to put the template into. Find the spot that you want to put it and then just right click and hit paste. And let me just change my viewing options so that it shows you the whole screen. You'll notice that the background is now inherited from the, the master slide from the new project. So now that it matches and it looks like it belongs in this project. If you want to change that, you can go into your master slide and you can you know, put new graphics in or change and massage that how you like. But that's how you uh, use our Captivate responsive templates. And I hope this has been helpful for you. Thanks a lot.